August the 29th, we commemorate the 30th anniversary of the closure of the Semipalatinsk test site as a day of both sorrow and hope. Soon we'll also mark the 30th anniversary of Kazakhstan's independence. Our history, August 1949, the first Soviet atomic bomb is detonated at the Semipalatinsk test site. Hundreds more were to follow. Our tragedy. Explosions that left non-healing wounds on the soil of Kazakhstan. Four decades of testing took a devastating toll on human health, the environment, flora and fauna, which may take thousands of years to recover. Our choice, 1989. The anti-nuclear movement Nevada Semipalatinsk begins with protests, marches for peace and rallies for a total ban on nuclear tests. 1991. The first president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, made a final decision which put an end to the sufferings of Kazakhstan's people and closed the site. Our priorities. The independent Kazakhstan has embarked on the struggle for a world free of nuclear weapons. In 1992, Kazakhstan signed the Lisbon Protocol to accede to the START-1 Treaty. In 1993, the country ratified the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons as a non-nuclear state. In 1996, Kazakhstan became a party to the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. Our actions by 1995, in cooperation with Russia and the United States, Kazakhstan had completely rid itself of the nuclear arsenal it inherited from the Soviet Union, the world's fourth largest at the moment. The decontamination of nuclear test sites territory continues. Our recognition. In 2006, as a result of a thorough and meticulous work of five Central Asian states, in September 2006, in the city of Semipalatinsk, the Treaty on a Nuclear Weapon-Free Zone in Central Asia was signed. In 2009, approving the proposal of Kazakhstan, the United Nations General Assembly declared August the 29th as the International Day Against Nuclear Tests. Our initiatives. In 2012, Kazakhstan launched the ATOM project, an international information campaign against nuclear weapons. In 2016, the Nazarbayev Prize for a nuclear weapon-free world and global security was established. In August 2017, the low-enriched uranium bank under the auspices of the International Atomic Energy Agency opened in Kazakhstan. In 2020, at the UN General Assembly, President of Kazakhstan Kasim Jomart Tokayev urges all P5 countries to ratify the respective protocols to the Nuclear Weapon Free Zone treaties, including Semipalatinsk Treaty. Our mission. Since 1991 and well into the future, we dream to leave our descendants a safe and nuclear weapons free world. I firmly believe that our planet will, sooner or later, be rid of this deadly type of weapons of mass destruction forever. And the main goal of my manifesto, the world in the 21st century, will be achieved.